Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on my YouTube channel and in this video I'm teaching you how to make a child size apron using some great stuff I picked up at my local Tuesday morning. So I decided to create this video tutorial on how to make a child size apron because on my most recent trip to Tuesday morning there was a ton of stuff and these people are always getting new inventory in the craft section. My store keeps it nice and neat and it's always well stocked. So no matter what you're looking for, chances are you probably will find it there. So some of the stuff I picked up are fabric, right? They have fabric at Tuesday morning. If you've ever been there before, you may not have realized it because I didn't know about it until a couple years ago or so. And more recently, I found out that they carry fat quarter bundles. There's seven fat quarters. If you're a quilter, you know what that is. If you're not a quilter, a fat quarter is basically an 18 inch by 22 inch piece of cotton fabric, of quilting cottons, right? And these are great for all types of projects. But the fat quarter bundles come seven fat quarters in a bag for $3.99. And regular price on here says $10.49. So for $4, seven fat quarters. So for these, I'm going to be making a reversible child size apron. So I had my kids sit down and pick out which two fabrics they wanted. One for one side and one for the other since the apron will be reversible. Aside from those fat quarter bundles that they carry, I also found some yardage, okay? A full yard of these gorgeous fabrics. They're really bright and fun. They're one yard each of 43 or 44 inch wide. It's 100% cotton, so great for quilts quilted projects. I got these three and I left some more in my store. So if you're in Gainesville, Florida, there may be a few more left there for you to grab. I didn't take them all, but they're only $5 each. So $5 for one yard of quilt store quality cotton fabrics is pretty inexpensive. And you can see that the regular price here is $10.95. Now aside from that, I picked up this little ribbon bundle they had. They came just like this, six spools of ribbon and all six of these spools was only $5.99. Regular price says $12 and it was only $5.99. So half off that, right? All these together is about 39 yards of ribbon, which is crazy, okay, for $6. And we're gonna be using these ribbons to create the ties for our child size apron. Now something else I picked up is this fabric. It's a disappearing ink pen. If you do any type of sewing or quilting, you know that this is an absolute must have. This allows you to mark different sections to let you know where to start and stop stitching or you can mark notches and different points on your projects. And so they cost regular price $3.99 each per pen, which is pretty affordable. This is really a must have in my craft room, but the Tuesday morning price is only 99 cents. So my store only had two and I snatched them both because I had to have them. Now the fifth item I picked up in the craft section of my local Tuesday morning is these fabulous fabric paints. I got some regular plain colors. We also picked up this entire bundle of these glitter paints. They have a really small tip, so they're great for doing things like writing, or kids, older kids can do it by themselves and embellish their backpacks, their jeans, shoes, all that kind of stuff. Now for this child size apron project, this is a great way to incorporate your kids or grandkids if they're spending the summer with you. This is a fun project for them to get their hands dirty on and still be able to keep the mess somewhat contained. What I did was I given my kids the pocket that's going on the front side of their apron and let them have a free for all with the paints that we picked up at Tuesday morning so I just put out the little paint palettes and just let them have fun with it put the paint out put the glitter paint inside the palette as well that way they can brush it on since my kids are a little younger and then I just let them do whatever type of embellishment or artwork that they wanted to do on their pocket and my son is a little bit older he will be able to help me sew on his sewing machine as well but this still allows them to have a personalized apron that has a piece of artwork that they created that is completely washable and they'll be able to grow with for years to come Okay, so let's get started with our child size apron that's fully reversible and it's a fun and easy craft project for you to make this summer with your kids or grandkids. So to start this project, we are going to begin with the pocket. I just pulled some white fabric from my stash. I've cut it nine inches by 14 inches. The finished pocket is going to look like this and then it's going to be stitched under. So it's gonna be just a touch smaller than this. I'm going to prep the pocket first so I can have my kids paint on it that way I know I give it at least one or two days to dry before I start putting the entire apron together. Now I like to back my pockets with a lightweight fusible interfacing. Any lightweight fusible interfacing will do. I'm just going to lay this on top and cut kind of close. 
so I can fuse it into place with my iron. Now that that's fused into place, I'm gonna go back with my ruler and my rotary cutter and trim away any of the excess fusible interfacing that we have there. Now let's bring our ironing board back. We're gonna flip this so that the back side of the interfacing is facing up and we're gonna fold this in half and press that crease. So this crease is going to be the top of our pocket since it's fully finished. So I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine and with a straight stitch, stitch real close to this top edge all the way across, just here. Now that the top is stitched, this is gonna be the top part of the pocket where the kids will reach in like this. So we need to finish off these three edges any way you want. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and just use a zigzag stitch real close to the edge. So now that we've finished off the other three sides, you can give this to your child and take out your fabric paints, embellish this paint, do whatever you want on it to create the front side of their pocket. So after you've chosen your two fat quarters that you want for your apron, go ahead and measure the child from armpit to armpit just across the front side of their chest and take that measurement down. Now if you don't have the child present to create this project or you're giving it to someone as a gift, just use the same measurement I did, feel free to do that. Now that I've pressed both of my fat quarters nice and flat, lay one on top of the other, I'm matching up one of the edges here just to see what the measurements are looking like. And you can see that the purple fabric is a little bit shorter than this one. And that's just gonna vary based on the yardage of the fabric that was used to cut them down into these fat quarter sizes. Now, I don't care about that because this one is gonna be for my daughter and I'm gonna need to trim it down anyways. So I'm going to trim down for my daughter's four inches off of the 22 inch mark. So I'm lining up the four inches with my bottom fabric, okay? So I've trimmed that down. Now I've ended up with two pieces that basically measure 18 by 18 inches. So because I have a perfect square, it's fine. But if you end up with a rectangle, make sure you turn the fabric so now it's going vertically this way. So now we're gonna take that measurement, the chest measurement we took of the child. In my kid's case, it was eight inches. So I'm going to add one inch to that and come up with a number of nine. We'll fold both of these together at the half. Nine inches, we want to be from armpit to armpit across the front chest of the child. So say their head is up here, they're wearing it this way, and you want it to be centered. So I folded the fabric, what's gonna be the body of the apron in half, make a mark there, and the chest measurement, we now want it to span across the front part of their chest. So to get nine inches evenly here, the center is four and a half. So we measure four and a half this way and four and a half this way, which will give us the full nine inches, and it will be centered on the fabric. And this is one, two, three, four, four and a half. So I'm gonna mark right here. Now I measured five inches down from here, okay? And made a mark right there. Now I'll take the straight side of my ruler and basically draw a line matching up these two points. Line up my ruler and just take straight with the rotary cutter and remove that. Now you can decide which side you want to attach that pocket to. To center it correctly, all you wanna do is fold your pocket in half you can make that mark right there where the halfway mark is. Kind of scratch the fabric to give yourself a little crease that you'll be able to see once it's open. Here's my pocket. Line up the halfway point here with the halfway point on your fabric. So now let's grab our ironing board, some pins, and let's start turning these edges under. You're gonna turn in these three sides. Now that our pocket is pinned into place, go to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch along only the three sides, right? You wanna make sure you leave this part open. So start on one end, back stitch to secure it back and forth there since this is gonna be getting some wear and tear there. We're gonna be using ribbon as our ties. So these are the ones I picked up from Tuesday morning. This is the six bundle. And I think I remember my daughter saying she wanted this pink one. So I'm gonna measure out four pieces that measure 14 inches in length. Feel free to make them longer just to be safe because you can always trim them down. And these ties are gonna go here, here, and then the other two go at the peaks on the sides here. So the two places that we made those marks to cut at. One there and one there. So just stitch right across here, 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 here. No need to backstitch, nothing fancy. We just want some stitches to hold these ribbon ties into place. Make sure that you have these going towards the center. Sometimes I'll even put a little rubber band. If the ties are long enough, Go ahead and give them just a quick tie, not too tight, maybe just something a little light just to hold them in place because you don't want them getting caught on any of your other stitches, okay? And then we're gonna take our other apron piece and lay it on top of the front side with the pretty side of the fabric facing down and pin all the way around. 
take your disappearing ink pen again, down here at the bottom, I want you to mark maybe six inches or so. And this is gonna be your reminder to not stitch in this area because we do need to leave an opening to flip the entire thing inside out through. Start stitching, stay here, back stitch to secure it, Now we're gonna reach in here through our opening and flip the entire thing inside out. Now we are going to turn under this opening and give the entire apron a nice press. And now the last step here is to top stitch all the way around. So I'm gonna come in here and stitch real close to this bottom edge. That's gonna secure this opening shut and give it a nice finish all the way around. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Leave me a comment below, let me know what other types of craft projects you like to make with your kids or grandkids over the summer, and a big thanks to our friends at Tuesday Morning for sending me over to my local shop so I can purchase all the materials I needed to create this video tutorial. Thanks again for watching, and remember, if you do want to enter for your chance to win a Tuesday morning gift certificate, make sure you open the description box below this video. There's a link to my blog there where all the details will be posted for you to enter to win your Tuesday morning gift certificate. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.